Welcome to the presentation and demo for IBM InfoSphere Test Data Management Solution for Siebel CRM. The IBM InfoSphere Optum Test Data Management Solution for Siebel Customer Relationship Management helps you to build realistic and right-sized non-production Siebel databases. The key benefits of test data management include cost reduction, creation of realistic right-sized test data to reduce the size of test environment, refresh the test data speeding and testing and application delivery, create production-like environments, support an iterative repeatable process of creating, maintaining and protecting data in non-production environments to accurately reflect end-to-end -end business process. Use a single scalable enterprise solution across applications, databases, and operating systems. IBM InfoSphere Optum Test Data Management Solution provides an efficient alternative to database cloning, allowing you to create right-sized development and testing environments. The figure represents an ideal extraction process. To the left is the production database from which Optum easily extracts a selected subset of data. Optum insert load the subset of data to the target database and creates referentially intact right-sized test databases. Thus, using test data management solution, you can create multiple copies of production environment for development, testing, and quality assurance. Now we will go through process overview of the IBM InfoSphere te Optum test data management solution for Siebel CRM. The process extracts data from a source production environment and inserts the data into a destination test environment. The production environment contains Siebel Workstation, Siebel Server, and Siebel Production Database. A production database contains the data which is used in the daily processing of transactions. IBM's InfoSphere Optum has Optum Server and the Workstation. Optum extracts a selected subset of data from production source database. The selected data will be stored in extract file, and using the same extract file, data will be inserted into the test and the target databases. In test environment, Siebel test database will be having the same set of data as production database. Now let's proceed to the product presentation. Let's go to the Siebel application environment to verify the sample data. This is the login page for source Siebel application. We are logging in with the credentials sadmin slash sadmin. This leads us to the Siebel homepage. Navigate to Service Request screen, which generates the service request list. From the drop-down, select All Service Requests Across Organizations. Query for the service request, which has status open. A list of records matching the criteria will be displayed. Select any record and click on SR Hash. In this view, you will find details of service requests such as activity, attachments, invoices, orders, and charges. Note down the SR number. The SR number ID is 17422046610. Now let us verify the records from the production database. Let's verify the data to be extracted from the production database. Our criteria for the demo is to extract the data with service request status as opened, last updated before six months, and template flag equal to N as specified in the query. Execute the query. There are 1,147 records which matches the criteria, including the record shown earlier in the golden copy, production, civil application. Now we will look at the access definition editor. Extract Request Editor and the Insert Request Editor on Core Optum. This is the Optum console we will use for Core Optum to perform the extract and insert process. For the demo's purpose, we have already imported the service request Optum export file and common base import file. The Optum export file is the OEF, which consists of Optum definitions such as access definition, extract request, and the insert request. It also contains the primary key, relationships, and the table map. The common base import file contains the definition needed to extract and insert reference application data that is common to all application processes and functionality. For example, employees, organizations, predefined queries, list of values, 
positions and responsibilities. You must extract and insert common basis data before extracting and inserting any module specific data. For the demo's purpose, we have already extracted and inserted common basis data using Optim. Let us have a look at the access definition window which describes a set of related data to be extracted. It is also used to manage and maintain the list of tables, relationships and to specify the selection criteria to extract. And this is the tables tab. It displays the list of table names in access definition to specify the data to be extracted. To create a table list, we need to specify and add the start table and other tables like transactional tables, context tables and the reference tables. In the table specification column, the icon indicates the selection criteria or other specifications for the table. As you can see, there is a selection criteria icon. Click on the selection criteria icon. It will display the selection criteria tab where an extraction criterion is specified for the table. We can have any business criteria specified against the table that defines the conditions for data extraction. It also allows all types of SQL statements. This is the relationships tab, which defines columns in the parent table that relate to corresponding columns in the child table. It also defines the traversal path for selecting data from tables and references in an access definition. The start table and any reference table listed on the tables tab are always included in the process. Now let us have a quick understanding of the extract request editor window. Let's open extract request. The extract request defines the parameters for extracting data from source tables and saving the data to an extract file. When we create an extract request, we must specify an extract file name and the access definition option. Let us now run the extract request. The extract request has started and processing. Once it completes, the extract report will be generated. As you can see, the extract process report contains the generated extract file name, file attachments, that is the processed, status as no errors and no warnings, and statistical information of the extract request like total tables processed 124, total rows extracted 12,274, the rows extracted from start table 1,147, and the rows extracted from each tables. Now let's verify the service request records don't exist in the target application. Let's go to the Siebel target test application to verify the data. The Siebel target application is no data environment. This is the login page for target test Siebel application. We are logging in with credentials sadmin slash sadmin. This leads us to the Siebel homepage. Navigate to the service request screen. Open the service request list. From the drop down, select all service requests across organizations. As you see, the service request records do not exist. Inserting the extracted data to the target database. Now let's have a quick understanding of the insert request in Optim. The insert request places data from a source file into a destination database. When we create an insert request, we must specify the source file that contains the extracted data which we want to insert. The control file name to record the information about the process. The process options, source and destination Siebel file system paths, and the table map. The table map is a set of specifications used to match the set of source tables to destination tables when you run or schedule the insert request. In the inputs tab, select the appropriate extract file and save and run the insert request. The insert request has started and processing. Once it completes, insert report will be generated. As you can see, the insert process report contains the source and the extract file name, the control file name, the file attachments processed, status as no error or no warning, the statistical information of the insert request like 
Total tables processed 124, the total rows inserted 8801, rows with errors 3473, rows failed due to duplicate records that seed data are present, and rows inserted, updated, failed for each table. Verify the service request records exist in the target application. Now let's go to Siebel target application to verify the data. Navigate to service request screen, service request list, and from the drop down select all service requests across organizations. As you can see, the service request record exists. Query for the SR number 1742-204610. Record exists and all related tabs are visible. You can see the related details like activity, attachments, click and open the attachment, invoices, orders, and charges. This concludes our demo. The extracted records from the source database is successfully inserted into the target test database. Thank you for watching the video.